Hi guys. Okay, so in this video, we're going to talk about the code of Justinian or Justinian's code. Um, we kind of use the words interchangeably in the classroom. Um, so your first question would probably be, what is the code of Justinian? So Justinian, we're going to have another video about his accomplishments, but this is one of his biggest accomplishments is the code of Justinian. So let's go ahead and get started. So of course, the the Byzantine Empire is the Eastern Roman Empire, so all of their laws were still very much Roman. All the people were still very much Roman, okay? So Rome at the time had all these contradicting laws, and their constitutions kind of contradicted each other and things like that. So people would unknowingly commit crimes because of this confusion, and because of that, uh, there would be a lot of unnecessary trials that were occurring at the same time. So a lot of unnecessary um, just things were happening when it came to law and order within the Byzantine Empire, or at that time, the, the Eastern Roman Empire. So Justinian wanted to make these laws cohesive, and cohesive just means unified, uh, where everything makes sense, everybody's knowingly following the same rules. Many scholars and lawyers are going to pour over the Roman laws and the various constitutions from Rome, and their hard work led to four different books. All right, you ready for this? Okay, the Codex Constitutum. Um, it is 10 books of laws from the old Roman laws and constitutions. So there's 10 total books, okay? This is all written in Latin. The Institutone, Institutone, Institutones, <laughs> sorry guys, this is a textbook for law students and it explained how the Justinian Code would work. So if you're a lawyer during this time period, this is how you're going to apply these laws in court and in everyday life. It's also written in Latin. We've got the Novelle Constitutes Post-Sidum, or the novels. Hey, I got the Constitutes right that time. Uh, Institutes, Constitutes, okay, or the novels. Uh, this was a revised codex or a book that was published between 534 and 565. It's not an unknown date. It's just it took that long to publish the entire thing. But it's going to be written in Greek. Okay, so remember, um, Miss Miss Abel Martin has an awesome video about the, the spread of the Latin language. Um, but the people in Byzantine um, and the Byzantine Empire and the Eastern Roman Empire, they eventually switched over to speaking more Greek than Latin. And um, a lot of the people were just bilingual and spoke both. Anyway, lastly, we've got the Digesta. Um, it is written by 16 lawyers between the years 530 and 536. And it's excerpts from Roman jurists. So these are Roman jurists. So Roman, so these, these people back in the Roman Empire, jurists are just experts in the law. Okay. Um, and here's a picture of the Digesta. All right, so your next question is probably, why should I care? Like, why should I care? I'm going to tell you why. Okay. The Code of Justinian, or Justinian's Code, was the basis of Byzantine law for a thousand years. So if we're trying to answer the question, how does the Byzantine Empire maintain the culture of Europe? This is a big one. For a thousand years. It was the basis of their law. Okay. Since it was mostly written in Latin, uh, the only one that wasn't written in Latin was the, um, let's go back and look at that. The only one, it was the, the, the novels were not written in Latin. It was able to be used by scholars throughout Europe. So as we're going to, because remember the Roman empire spread everywhere, all over Europe. So all of these people are speaking Latin. But then when they split, Diocletian split the empire, the eastern side is going to start to speak more Greek. But since these laws were written in Latin, they were able to be used by what used to be the Western, uh, the Western Roman Empire. Does that make sense? So most of these scholars were able to use it throughout Europe as a basis for their own laws. This eventually led to it influencing the greater part of Western legal systems. Um, Guys, that's us, not the United States. It could be the United States, but that's us. We're the Western legal systems. We are the Western part of the world. And so all these, these 
uh, legal systems that we're going to actually discuss when we talk about England later in the year influenced us in the United States, but they, those English, were influenced by the Code of Justinian. So it's just, it's really cool stuff. Um, also, this is why it's called the forebearer of the Western law. Forebearer just means the one that came before, and that's going to lay the groundwork of what's coming after. Okay, well, I love you guys. Uh, peace out. Bye.